welcome to another another one of these live lessons um, things are moving on nicely um, I'm doing rudiments at the minute so last week we talked about the paradiddle this week we're going to talk about the paradiddle diddle okay so probably a rudiment that some of you know um, still a relatively basic rudiment but it's something that's really 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 useful I use it quite a lot okay so we're gonna <laughs> delve into this a little bit okay so we're gonna start from the beginner level and show you what that rudiment actually is and then we're going to move it through to a more advanced level and show you what you can do with it moving around the kit and things okay as always questions right hand side are going to come straight through to me okay we'll get them answered yeah a lot of you have been quite shy just recently so i know there's been quite a lot of people watching um so it's either down to the fact that uh, i'm teaching everything and answering all your questions or you're very shy and you don't want to ask any questions okay so you know by all means you know you can ask anything you can ask we've had in the past we've had questions about the symbols and the heads and drums and all sorts of things and so we just need to keep working on that okay so any questions you've got you can get those through okay don't forget to hop on the raw studios tv facebook page and um, that's where all the updates are from now on um, the emails are just going to be sent out once a week unless there's something really important um, and then i'll send those out more than once but most of the updates are going to be on the Facebook page. So do a search for Raw Studios TV on the Facebook page um, and you should be able to uh, you should be able to find that and keep up to date with all the news, interact with the other people um, <coughs> and uh, and get, you know, get a little bit more involved um, and just get that little bit of inspiration that people kind of are looking for. All right. So let's make a start and look at this, um, look at the rudiment that we're going to look at tonight, which is the power diddle diddle. OK. Almost, you know, very similar to the paradiddle, obviously from the same family, but this time the paradiddle diddle, okay? So the basic pattern for it is right, left, right, right, left, left, okay? Right, left, right, right, left, left. Again, letting the sticks do the work. It's only playing on the pad there, so just letting the sticks do the work. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, left, okay? Let me play that a few times for you so you just get used to it. Para diddle diddle, para diddle diddle, para. Okay, it's one of those rudiments that stays on the hand that you start it with. It doesn't change hands. Okay, so if you start it on the right, it's going to remain on the right all the time. It's a group of six notes. No need to work it up to that speed, you know, take it really, really slowly and just keep building it, you know, keep building it, keep building it up again. Okay? Then we're going to look at some really nice ideas in terms of what we can actually do with it, all right, because it's actually a really, really useful, um, really useful rud rudiment, okay? So that's what we're going to look at now, okay? <coughs> so the first thing is for you to get it down. Right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, okay? And then just work that just on one drum to start with you know just maybe just on the snare all right so let's just have a look at that Okay, so that's kind of taking it, you know, a little bit to its extreme and really pushing it in. Okay, but again, it's really, really useful. Okay, so now to get to get this rudiment to work as a fill, yeah, you've got to be playing really. You've either got to have really, really fast hands, or you've got to be playing a really slow groove. Okay, because basically you're playing six tuplets or sixteen triplets. Okay, in groups of six, and each one of those paradiddles 
power diddle diddle, sorry, is going to land, it's going to start on the beat. Okay, so if you play, if you play, please, so you can talk at the same time. If you play a groove that's here, your tempo is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So your power diddle diddle is going to be three and four and which is quite fast. Three and four and yeah, and that's only relatively slow groove. Okay, if you, if we speed that up a bit, okay. So to work on it slowly to start with, or you've, or you've either got to play the groove really slow, so you're gonna play. So we end up with okay, which is really slow and, and, and you know I'm aware that that could you know could get really really dull to practice okay but <laughs> the other way to do it is to think about it in 16th notes. Okay, so if we've got 16th notes, we've got 16 notes. Okay, a power diddle diddle is six notes, so we can afford to play two power diddle diddles and give us four left over. All right, so that's going to give us two power diddle diddles and then four singles. Okay, so it's going to sound like this: one E and a two E and a three E and a four. much easier to get up to you know if you're playing a fast groove to use it there one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a so if you're playing one two three four one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one two put the bass on four and four and one e and a two so you can hear that bit better. So it's just basically 16 notes. All you're actually playing <laughs> is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, with the power diddle diddle sticking twice and four singles. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, don't forget that if you miss any of this, these videos are all going into the archive for the full members. Um, so you can watch them back, you can pause them, you can do what you want with them. Yeah, okay? you can watch them as many times as you want. They're going to be in that archive of, of the uh, for the members area. Okay, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, let me play that a little bit quicker for you.
okay so once we've got the basics of it down there in getting it into the phrasing of the 16th note then we can just start to move it and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three Think about it as one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Or you could think about it as power a diddle diddle, power a diddle diddle, one. Power a diddle diddle, power a diddle diddle, four E and a. Okay, so again, just nice and steady, I'll show you what that sounds like. Okay, so once, you, once you've kind of got comfortable with it, yeah, what we can then do is start to just move the accents and move it around the kit a little bit. Okay, so it's relatively easy. We're just moving this, this hand. One knee and a two knee and a three knee and a four knee and a one knee and a two knee and a three knee. Yeah, and just gradually, gradually starting to move it around. So I'll do that slowly first, and I'll start to speed it up. And again, you know, you can watch this back um, when it's in the archive. So, you know, you can, you'll be able to work it out what's going on. And again, a little bit faster. It's all about the, you know, finding a, me giving you a basic idea and you expanding on that and then, you know, mailing us back with a YouTube link that you've done. It goes into the members area, everybody can watch it then, okay? And then you just get that little bit of exposure as well. Yeah, we've got um, just shy of 100 members now globally, okay? So there's people all over the world watching, okay? So we just got to, um, you know, you can get your name out there by sticking those things up, all right? So that's the basically the basic idea of getting the 16th notes working, okay? It's just moving it around, it's getting the basic phrasing. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, okay? 
And then of course what we can do, we can look at getting the, putting it back into 16th or triplets, six tuplets, which is giving us four paradiddle diddles per bar, one on each beat. Okay, play that slot for you slowly. again a little bit faster. Once again, it's exactly, exactly, exactly the same principle as before. Okay, it's exactly the same principle as before, in that you're playing. You've got the phrase in there into those sixteen touch triplets, into those six tuplets, um, and then we're, what we're looking at is moving that around. Okay, so let's just start by moving just the right hand. and slowly just that way. Okay, so it's still we're still playing exactly the same pattern. Yeah, we just start to move things around a little bit, get things get you know get things flowing a little bit. Okay, so you know let's get now all we've got to do is we can start moving it again like we did before. Yeah, let's move the right hand. If you want to start thinking about it, you can move the left hand as well. Okay, but it boils down to you know working slowly with a click in the sixteenth notes, and then working with a click in the in the sixteenth or triplets. Okay, so that's where you need to be really looking, making sure that the hands are working. Yeah, okay, we'll do some hand technique stuff at some point. Anybody who saw Dom's lesson the other week, you know, should be way ahead now technique-wise. Okay, so um, we just got to keep thinking about it. So let's try that again, slowly first, then I'll speed it up. Just moving that right hand round a little bit. Maybe putting it on the crash. If you put it on a crash, make sure you put a foot with it as well. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so again, it's just, you know, taking it to, you know, kind of pushing it to extremes a little bit, okay, but it's there. Right, let's see what questions we've got. Okay, cool. All right, Ian. All right, Ian. Uh, Ian's asking why, um, this is, you know, not necessarily related to uh, the power devil deal, but Ian's asking why I am uh, constantly switching between, I've just been asked before this, between uh, match grip and traditional, okay? There is no conscious decision behind that, okay? Uh, I played for many years in traditional, and then I went to match, and it depends on what I'm playing. Okay, it really, really does depend on what I'm playing. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing quite a lot of big band stuff and some jazz stuff. Um, so I'm playing more and more in um, in traditional grip. But it doesn't. It's not a conscious decision. Nothing. You know, if you play in traditional, then work it in traditional. If you play in match, then work it in match. Yeah, just make sure that the sticks and the hands are doing the work. I can play pretty much equal in both. Um, so it's not a conscious decision and it's just something that I sometimes do I pick the sticks up and it just comes out that I play that way sometimes I'll play that way okay it's not a conscious thing at all okay let's see what else we've got okay <coughs> uh Paul Okay, uh, how did I get the hand speed to be able to play the power diddle diddle so fast? Okay, basically, I went like this. With a click for hours and hours and hours and hours. Yeah, and then gradually, once I've got that, speeded it up a tiny bit. That's all I did. Yeah, that's all I did. I worked and worked and worked on it. Yeah, it's a long, slow process. Okay, it's a very long, it's a very kind of slow process. Okay, but it's something that is well worth doing. You know, because you know it really, really helps you. All right. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Right, uh, Scott. Okay, is, can you use the power diddle diddle in, in other, you know, in multiple genres? Great, the answer is yes, okay. If you're playing, if you struggle with, if you struggle um, with jazz, then the power diddle is ideal for you, yeah. If you play the power diddle diddle between the ride and the snare, yeah, and get the hi-hat going off the beat, Okay, start, start it on count two, so it's going to go one, two, three, four, one. Then you get the jazz ride off the Nato pattern. Okay, let me show you that again. One, two, three. One and you get the grace notes. So, really, starting it, make sure you start it on count two. What you can actually do is play a full kind of jazz groove just based on one rudiment. Okay, I'll show you that what it sounds like. Yes, it's a very basic jazz ride groove, okay? 
but yes you can it's great for playing jazz one dun, 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 dun. so basically the right hand is going one Okay, cool, good, good, good. So let's have a look. Uh, <coughs> what we got down here? Okay, Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. Okay. All right, is it possible to split? Is it possible to split the rudiment um, between hands and feet? Yes, something I use a lot. Okay. <coughs> what you're going to play? If you've got double pedal, I'll show you it both ways: double, double pedal and single pedal. Okay. If you play para diddle diddle, yeah. If you make that last diddle, foot foot, right left right right foot foot. You're still playing the sixth note, still playing the same rudiment. You've just split the last two notes between right and left foot. Again, you can do it in either way, the 16th note or the 16th note triplet. Triplets, six tough plots. Okay, and then you can start to move that around a little bit, moving the axis, moving the hands, keeping the feet in the same place. Obviously, you can probably tell that that's a little bit lumpy. I wouldn't play it like that. Okay, I wouldn't play it with two feet. I play it with one foot. Okay, I very rarely use double bass now. Okay, so you know, doing it with one foot is going to sound much nicer to me. So yeah, with a little bit of work, again, it, it, it revolves around working on the technique, getting the technique to work <coughs> so that the feet can work properly. Okay, so that yeah, once, you know, again, splitting it around the kit's a really nice thing to do. Okay, um, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's nice questions, good questions, okay. Um, Feet-wise, yeah, again, it's just it's just getting the foot, you know, we're not talking about feet, but it's getting the feet to work, yeah. Um, I'm a big believer in getting both feet, even though I don't really play double pedal that much, getting both feet to do the same thing, you know, to be able to do the same thing. 
Um, so something like this. Case of working basics up and getting them to flow, okay? Getting them to flow. So, the question Mark, okay, all right. Again, not related to the power of the double, but that's not a problem, okay? Uh, I'm using heel toe, You're asking what technique I'm using to get the feet to work. Yeah? I'm actually using heel toe, which I find easier. I've, I used, I've used the slide, uh, I've used a sort of heel drop, I put the heel down, and the heel toe is the way that I really like to get it to work. Yeah, and again, that's just a case of sitting there, you know, for, for a long, long time doing that, you know, getting that to work. Okay, so, you know, good questions, guys, good questions, okay? One final thing I want to talk about is if you're going to hit, once you've got the hand speed working, if you're going to hit a single fill, yeah, so let's say we, we, we're going to play a fill that's this, yeah, okay, now, just singles, here we go. That's going to sound quite nice up to a certain speed. Okay. At that certain point, there comes a point where the sticks have to come really low because you've not got the time to bring them back and it starts to get a little bit forced and a little bit squashed. So if you replace the, the singles with the power of little, all comes back to life, okay? So I'll push this with singles, and then I'll change it into the power diddle diddles, and you'll see the difference. kind of see that doing that with singles would be very very difficult okay and it just you know it kind of sounds nicer it gives it more flow you can be much 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 more creative with it okay so hopefully you've seen you've got something out of that um, as I say it'll all be in the archive um, so you can watch it there back again and again and again if you remember you know send me send, you can still send the questions in um, if you're stuck with something when you're re-watching the video just let me know Okay, and we'll, you know, I will do my best to answer that for you as soon as I can. All right. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Spread the word. Uh, the schedule's on the site. Hop on the Facebook page for the updates. Yeah. Um, you know, I'd like to see some of your videos coming back in. Okay. But you know, things are going good. Things are going good. I'm hoping that you're getting something out of it. It's quite structured. It's stuff that you're going to be able to use. And I hope that you can move forward with your play. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. And I'll see you soon.